up, y'all? It's King Brittany Chanel. You already know. So it looks like Asriel has made her debut appearance, honey, back on this internet. Woo! Honey, she is living her best life. Before I get into the video, definitely make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Do me a favor and hit the notification bell so YouTube can recommend more of my videos to you if I'm your favorite content creator. Now, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let's get into it. <laughs> Right, honey so i am back with honey for today's tea we gonna be talking about asri y'all know asriel c honey she is on this internet honey since your boy somebody probably done told her he probably he ain't he ain't finna be back love he is not finna be back so she has been on i believe snapchat or whatever social media just think about how Free, she probably feels after maybe years of not being able to be on the internet, honey. She out here. I thought it was a city girls hot or uh, Meg the Stallion hot girl summer. You know, I wanted to be dancing with her, like ah, Cardi B with your tongue sticking out. Oh, crrr. anyway, this was just Angelo Clary. He spoke out about um. Her so being back on social media and it was such a beautiful thing to really see because it's like everything this girl has probably been through you know without you know not being able to pick out you know what she wants to wear where she wants to go and probably eat what she wants to do even listening to music dancing you know being connected and interactive with your friends family your social media and can't nobody tell me that she is not experiencing a breakthrough some type of way because if this was if she was in like her a normal relationship with uh k like everybody be trying to say not everybody but y'all know his supporters be trying to say this woman would not feel so free she like oh i'm letting my hair down honey i'm sweating like she's dancing honey showing the view she enjoying the view i don't know if she probably ever enjoyed the view where she's at at that trump but honey she is enjoying herself i didn't see joy on the videos but it definitely seemed like she was enjoying herself now let me read to y'all what um angelo wrote and it's he says to see this young queen back on social media and having her freedom is priceless to me and i don't regret one ounce of my actions to get that for her and joy um wait wait may you i guess it's supposed to say may you see my love instead of the lies honey i know that's right your daddy loves you dearly missing my asriel team asriel hashtag big homies hashtag save all our queens and then he just got you know these area codes and all of that which i felt like that was a beautiful thing to see because it's a step like that she's you know on the right track to living her best life you know people need to understand please like um angela was saying don't judge this girl because you looking at it like you know she have on the type of outfits that she have on just think about it like she may not have been able to make those choices for herself every time we seen her she had them turtlenecks on we didn't see her on social media for like years so you already know somebody probably put the little birdie in her ear honey that k is just on a permanent stay baby so she was like ow ow you know how like you honey i thought juvenile was gonna play in the bag honey for the nine nine and all that in the back it was just like i was happy because everybody had a little uh twerk moment everybody had a little you know having a good time you ain't serious all the time and please people it's just just understand spiritually she was around you know a person that probably had a lot of spirits and you know demonic activity and you know when you break out of that type of situation now that she has broken out that situation with him she got to deal with the residue of you know 
lust and you know the promiscuity that's gonna take some time for her to get delivered for the lord to put his hands on her he could do whatever he want to do and whatever time he gonna do it in but it's going you know time god doesn't don't rush his process that's what i'm gonna say don't rush his process don't immediately like look at it like oh you know because i know it's it's gonna be ignorant folks because i seen folks that was trying to you know be slick in my dms and shout out to the my supporters that sent me this um thank you so much love and all of the people who sent me the videos because i was like wow like i was out getting me a little you know sub sandwich and i said oh look at the i said this is god right here now y'all may say what y'all want because y'all feel like she may be acting out but this is her way of in her body language saying that i'm free now i'm able to have choices you know i you know i'm able to do what i want to do for the first time in maybe a long time so this is her making her debut i mean honey like i said it is a hot girl summer a lot of y'all may have y'all issues with meg the stallion honey but i love me some meg the stallion i love me some asian doll and every now and again you have your turn up session honey and you and you get your jam on and that's you know her as a young girl that's what she should be doing now y'all got the whole off eventually you know maybe you know after time cools down she'll you know maybe reflect on maybe the outfits but you got to give her some credit like and just chill so that she can get acclimated with just having choices it may seem you know extreme to some people that's just watching this but if you really looking at it from a psychological perspective this is her saying you know i have i'm taking my life back you see her in the outfits. What am I wearing tonight? What am, you know, what am I? She probably never had that choice, y'all. Like in a long time, she probably didn't have that choice. And I'm like, yes, God is good. And I'm just praying. Prayers go out to Angelo. Prayers go out to Tim and the rest of them. Because, you know, I'm praying for Joy and their family as well. And this is beautiful. The CDs in, um, I think it was Joy's birthday today. So happy birthday to Joy and this is a beautiful thing to see like a young girl being on social media doing what young girls do not with somebody that's 52 and just oppressed and in stress like that's just not where we want the young ladies to be at and like angelo was saying we you know we need to we need to step up for the uh for the youth i'm gonna say you know these kings out here because y'all know i don't call people queens but we need to step up for the youth out here because sometimes people that's older they just are not the best examples or they just be trying to i would say pray on situations and i ain't talking about pray as in p-r-a-y y'all get what i'm saying so just the fact that i saw her you know twirling around flinging her hair all around and just having a good time it reminded me of Lindsay Lohan from the movie Freaky Friday. Y'all know like every teenage type of movie, like when the girl is getting ready to go out, honey, go to Usher video. You don't gotta call, you don't have to call, and he's sitting there dancing in the mirror and stuff like that through the house before they go out. Now I do wish that she is being careful because of the lack of security now and that sort of thing. But I just feel like this is a huge victory or the beginning of you know even bigger moments and footsteps for her because she's taking these small steps to something bigger in her life and then you know these just her picking out her clothes and stuff like that you know she gonna be able to pick out her career pick out what she wants to eat for dinner you know whatever she want to do with her life because she's young and got her whole life ahead of her and this is just wonderful to see now i know some of y'all slick in y'all mouth but overall you got to say that for this girl to be on the internet and free like this y'all know that it was something going on that old boy all those years may not have wanted her to be on the internet because he probably wanted to control some things honey but there's a god there's a god that shut every 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 mouth for the enemy there's a god that shut down every plot and shoot down every dart of the enemy and that's the most high that i serve honey and he showed himself in this whole situation he shut this whole situation down now i'm gonna move on to the next part because y'all um 
Honey, y'all know I was gonna come back and talk about this crisis manager. Y'all know I was gonna talk about zero, zero, zero DJ. We, y'all know I cannot talk about K and not talk about this crisis manager. Now, he recently, I guess, talked to Gail King, honey, CBS uh, this morning or CBS morning, honey, and he don't went talking again. Y'all, he don't never be talking. And having this sound um, good on the behalf of K at all. So it says, crisis manager defends K even though he wouldn't want his daughter alone with K. So y'all know DJ insisted it wasn't a contradiction to defend the R&B singer. And y'all know um, what he's accused of, okay? Um, who faces new things, Okay. So basically, it says Kay's crisis manager said Monday that he wouldn't feel comfortable leaving his own daughter with the singer, and y'all know everything he's um he's they're claiming that he he did okay, yet defended him anyway against you know the new string of claims that they're making against Kay. So when CBS this morning host Gail King asked if he would allow his daughter to be alone with Kay. Zero said, absolutely not. Yet he insisted it was not a contradiction. <laughs> I don't know how it's not a contradiction. You're saying that you haven't seen anything abnormal with this person, right? From the whole time we've been watching, y'all, put down in the comment section right now. What has he been saying? Oh, I've been around. I haven't seen anything uh, strange or suspicious. I haven't. I've been around seven months. I've been around six months. And sir, so if that's the case, why wouldn't you leave your, your child or your kid around K? If this person is such an upstanding citizen and like you saying he is, and you confident in your case, and you know, the supporters, you know, support him and all this rally of people, all blah, 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 all around K, why wouldn't you leave your daughter around K? Please, just miss, just swerve. Please miss us with this. Please. I mean, first, I'm not on his team. I'm on his team. I mean, when Tim run, ran up on him at that press conference, he was up there. They was like, we don't want to hear these lies. And he was up there making a, oh, I, I, I don't work for Kane. I work for, I work for Steve. Oh, I don't work for Kane. My client. So, sir, a client is somebody that is, like it I, i'm just not gonna try to figure him out so let me go on y'all because this is making me crack up because this is just such a victorious uh, a victorious moment and this is such a hilarious moment that he wouldn't leave his daughter around k but you telling the public that this person is you know i haven't seen anything you know i've been around he's a a, a coffee uh, drinking gospel singer darling and all of this stuff. So it says, um, let's go on. He said, I wouldn't leave my daughter with anyone. And y'all, basically, that is what, that, you know, has this reputation and these claims will say. He said, repeating it twice. And basically, they go on to say, the claims or the person who they're, you know, will say K was taken in or picked up earlier this month y'all know it was 18 counts y'all know what it was for and i'm gonna say the what the, the what i could say about it it was some instruct obstruction in there um transporting of the youth okay for purposes in addition to prior state charges so Kay and his counsel have continued to deny all these of these these claims. We're gonna say. So he's this is him, y'all. This is the crisis manager. Y'all gotta he say and put some respect on his name because y'all be calling him a publicist. He's a crisis manager. So he says, "I would never call anybody a liar." Johnson said when King asked him about the numerous women who have came out and been very vocal about k and have made these claims against k adding that he was not pers he has not personally witnessed anything that would cause him to be suspicious but sir 
You said that you would not leave your daughter around Kay, but you haven't seen anything suspicious. You haven't witnessed anything. But we're reading between the lines. What does that tell you? That tells you, like, look, I don't even trust this individual, but I'm a, I'm saying for the cameras, I haven't witnessed anything. And just because you don't witness something yourself, you know, doesn't mean that stuff isn't going on. I mean, how many of us have been teenagers and stuff has been going on and your parents were not privy to it so just because you have a supervisory type of thing going on that doesn't mean that there's not other stuff going on just because you it's not in your eyesight you know as a matter of fact we we not even really seeing colors the way that we really should or we're not really even experiencing sound and things the way that we really should we're, it's only at the level in which we're able to handle it so I don't know why he's saying he hasn't personally witnessed because, I mean, what is that really saying? So a lot of people are one way in front of you and one way when they're not with you. People do it all the time. So he goes on to say, I've seen Mr. K being a normal person. Sir, let me just say this. If he was a normal person, we would not be here. We would not be here. He would have not been in these situations in 2008. And from what Michael claimed, Michael claimed at that from that press conference that he was paying people gifts and all of that to make, you know, uh, so the truth didn't get out and the jurors would have quit. And then we had them, you know, trying to gather the troops to go and get these, you know, CDs, DVDs and ended up getting played in the end with that. So this is not something that and a normal person. If they, you know, held in their solitary situation, they're certainly not going to ask for no computer to finish no album. That's just number one. Like, who asks for an album? I mean, to finish an album as if they're on a personal vacation stay instead of an extended stay. You get picked up by the HSI. That's not, that's not a house call that, you know, oh, hey, how you doing? You know, you getting your mail? You everything all right? They're not, you know, trying to sit for tea. They don't care about the price of tea in China. And they don't care about, you know, you finishing up no albums. They're there on serious business. We'll say that. So it goes on to say that Daryl cited that Joy and Azriel, the two women that uh living with Kay, whom have defended him, but both women's parents believe that K. What's the word I want to use for this? Basically, y'all know what the parents have been saying that they, you know, they're not, they, you know, able to come and go as their plea as they please, and you know, he has their brains um kind of shifted to the way of of a perception that he wants them to think, and King. And y'all know Gail King's interview with Kay is infamous. I gave y'all 30 years. Honey, I will never forget that interview Gail did. And Gail was sitting there calm, cool, and collective like a cucumber. And he was showing out. Oh, I didn't do this stuff. Honey, all of this. Like, I, that that interview is infamous. So, they are right when they say this interview that Gail, that, that interview Gail did this year was infamous. Yes, it was. Pointed out. So, Gail pointed out to Johnson that, of course, it's possible for these, you know, people that are in these type of situations that Kay is in to be a normal person. And then she says, we are not going to see that type of behavior. The question is, all of these women through decades now have been telling the same story. OMG, thank you, Gail's. Finally, somebody is just Gail been hollering this. You know, she was like, I can't even say what she said, but she basically is, was like, hey, you know, all of these people are saying, you know, the same thing. You know, it's kind of just, you know, this is mind blowing that, you know, all these people would just be saying this about you for what reason? Like everybody is just not agreeing with you to the point where they just want to come up with this same conclusion about you. So it says here, of course you and I aren't going to see that or someone if we walked into his house. 
So she kind of was putting him back into perspective. Like, come on, dude. If me, me or you, or the type of people that we are, we walk into his type of house, he's going to be putting on airs and he's going to be on his P's and Q's because we're considered people that are in a position that have contact with the media. So he doesn't want to be perceived a certain way. So I don't know why he even had that point because that point wasn't even valid. People going to show you what they want to show you and you going to see what they want you to see. As we saw in that interview that Gail did with Kay. And it says, at the time of the interview in March, Kay, I mean, King said Kay stood off camera, camera interjecting with coughs and attempts to cut off um, her conversation with Asri and Joy. And it also says that Kay is, y'all know he being held after the federal judge and the shy said last week that the singer had failed to show that he would not be trying to, you know, do stuff like obstruct justice and that sort of thing if released. And so Johnson said Monday that he is concerned with about Kay's mental health. Mr. K is a mess right now. He said he's scared and y'all know he's in that solitary situation. But you can't be all that scared if you requesting your computer and all of that and they trying to get stakes and all that sent over. It's not a tea party when you get, you know, picked up. It's not, that's not what it is. It's not a birthday party. It ain't a tea party. You ain't going to the disco. It's just a hard choreo situation. And I feel like if you was, if you was, you know, hard in the paint, which you was, which you ain't, you should be able to handle this situation. You was a big boy when you was out here running the streets with your woes, doing what you wanted to do. And now that you have to answer for these things, we don't want to hear that you have any issues, that you going to need anybody to lean on or read them commissary notes. I said where them pictures at. They need to have picture books or picture commissary notes so these folks can know what to pick out off the list. All he needs to know is toilet tissue, soap, and the basics. This, it's easy to say that. And they tell he don't have nobody to lean on. They, You know, the team got to be in a cramped space to have their meetings. Like, y'all think this is breakfast at Tiffany's. This is not breakfast at Tiffany's. You are not, you know, at Martha's Vineyard. You are you, you are not at the condo on Biscayne Bay, uh, Biscayne Bay. This is not Star Island. You are where you're at. You you behind him. All he need to request is a Bible. And who's the first like in a in a what's what, who's the people that be what is it called the chaplain Lord who that's all he need to get some prayer going maybe get a couple of degrees and some plaques. You got a lot of record plaques, but we need to get them educational plaques. And you if you a person and you got nothing but time, honey, and the crisis manager Lord. He been out here talking about, you know, if he don't beat this case, this is the rest of of life type situation. And that's like I said, this is what leads me to believe, excuse me, I'm tongue twisted because I'm I'm overjoyed that this girl has put up these videos enjoying herself. This is probably what they told her. Like the crisis manager, like I said, when he did an interview before, slipped up and said, I think it was with Don Lemon. He slipped up and said, you know, he was, he's going to be spending the life, the rest of his life, you know, away. And this is, this, he said this way earlier on. So I think them lawyers and the rest of them folks, they already know what time it is. And they probably told baby girl, look, you know, he probably is not coming home anytime soon and you know we hope for the best but you know in in case the worst happens this is what we're looking at here and it's not appearing from how the you know the judges is responding to this that you know it's going to be any leeway here because y'all know lawyers know counsel people they they know they know they know when they about to win a case and they know when they just about to earn you know the monies that they earn for working on it. They pretty much know. And this is what this is looking like. Tell me y'all thoughts down below about Asri making her debut back to social media um, as a new woman. And tell me y'all thoughts on this crisis manager saying that he wouldn't allow his daughter to be around Kay 
but believes it's not a contradiction to him defending K. Leave your comments about this down below. It's King Brittany Chanel. Excuse me, I almost said my name wrong. It's King Brittany Chanel. You already know. Definitely make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Hey, honeys. I added new merch to my Teespring store. So definitely check out the new merch. We have the Trust God and Chill collection. The Living My Blessed Life collection. Living My Best Life 2 collection. So check it out. And I hope y'all enjoy. Thanks for watching my videos, honeys, and please check out my Teespring store. I have something for everyone, and I hope you all enjoy. You all, we have different, a variety of different apparel, okay? Hoodies, sweatshirts, t-shirts, we have mugs, we have iPhone cases, tote bags. If you have an Android, we have Samsung cases. We have a little bit of everything for everyone. And I just really wanted to share um, my inspiration for the Kinging Always collection because I know a lot of you all always ask me, why do you call yourself king? Well, I'm sharing it with you guys. A king is a descendant and a ruler of a divine race. So a woman or a man could be a king. And I just want to share the collections with you all. We have unisex sizes, so just pay attention to the description on the clothing okay we have leggings we have tote bags it's a variety of things to check out on there there's different collections like the king honey bee collection the oh honey collection the king always collection numbers one to three and then we have the beautiful collection so i want to you know i wanted to give my subscribers inspirational things to wear and to feel good about themselves so definitely check out the king Brittany chanel teespring store you should be seeing the teespring merchandise pop up on my videos now and thank you for watching thank you for checking out the teespring store and i will see y'all on the next video